So what if in an alternative universe, I was not a thunderbolt, but instead, I was a burrito? Oh, well, never mind, uh, let's go back to being a thunderbolt. Wait, you can't do that? Can you just at least fix it in editing? You're, no, you're, no, you're not getting paid today. <sighs> Fine, you know, you know what? <sighs> never mind, just, just keep it that way, okay? Anyways, for those who don't know who I'm referencing to, I'm referencing to Alternate History Up. He's actually one of those YouTubers I've made a thunder spoofs on last year. A sun shoots out a burst of energy every second and is weak enough to break the barriers of the earth, which is also known as a solar flare. Yeah, that video kind of sucks. You can watch it, but I don't really like watching it myself now looking back. Alternate History Up, or Cody to put it short, does, well, videos relating to alternate history scenarios such as war, politics, anime, whatever this is. Basically anything that relates to a random scenario, he does a video on. Although the way he does it, he draws characters that look something like this and creates the setting throughout the whole video and makes the video look really well. He also does another type of videos called lore where he takes something that is fiction like the DC Universe and Attack on Titans and makes the video in a way where they're put into the real world into a real scenario. Now you may be thinking that his videos aren't great and that maybe they're boring and all, but here's the thing for these people. They're actually quite entertaining. Here, take a look. Guns, tanks, planes, ships. In World War II, the United States was a military production machine. He also has a second channel called Knowledge Hub where he does videos on anything throughout history and gives details on events and occurrences. Kim picked the absolute worst time to launch a communist crusade. Domino theory was a growing fear. The idea that communism liked to spread. Again, they're the same style as his alternate history hub videos, so they're not much of a difference in quality other than that they're two different topics. However, back then, this channel used to be called Geography Hub, when he could only cover geography. But as time went on, he changed the name of the channel to do more with the channel, and is doing really well on that channel. He's also part of the podcast called So That Happened, in which him and a group of friends talk about scenarios and history and stuff. I still haven't yet listened to a full episode, but maybe I'll get to that once I finish scripting this countdown! I always remembered watching him back when he only had a couple hundred thousand subscribers, and here he is at 1.4 million subscribers, and his content is still the enjoyment to watch. I actually remember the first video I watched from him, which was the uh, What If Dinosaurs Never Went Extinct, and looking back at it, it's still a really great video to look at. Sure, it's not Cody's best work or anything, but watching this video brings back so much nostalgia and as it brings me to the days when I first discovered him, and it was like, oh, cool, I'm gonna go watch some more PewDiePie. He may be big on the field of YouTube, but I can't wait for him to see him grow more and more as he progresses.